Welcome back, guys. Luggy, we gonna get a, a giant today? Do you wanna catch a big fish? Holy smokes, you guys see how clean this water is? Look at that, I can see the bottom like right in five foot. Damn, this is some clean ass water. I can see all the way down there. For Dallas, I, I should say, for, for Fort Worth and Dallas, this is some pretty pristine water. All right, can you guys see that? Like, here, let me put the glasses on. Here, put the shades on, see if that helps. Pretty damn clear. I'm back on the scene. We're in Texas, we're fishing a little urban lake today. I've never fished this lake before. It, uh, it looks cool. Usually I do a little bit of research before I fish these lakes, but today I had a few hours to kill. Just want to get after it and I thought I'll just launch here. We'll see how she goes. Kind of one of those on the whim missions. Could pan out. We could catch nothing today, but I figured I'd bring you guys along with and we'll uh we'll try to catch some fish together. I got my first mate, little mate toots right here. She's scoping out the beds right now, making sure I don't pass up any fish. So stick with it, stay tuned, and let's crank them. Ooh, just spotted the first RG of the day. Right now I'm doing a lot of looking around. This water is super clear, and I'm just trying to get a, an idea as to how this lake lays out. Like, you know, should I be looking for deep water? Do I stay shallow and try to find some fish that are getting ready to move up and spawn or already spawning? It's like I'm kind of doing some late homework right now on this lake, just visually by looking at it. I'm also gonna throw the frog around for a bit today. There's some good grass in this lake. I think if I get this frog in the right areas, I can probably get bit. There's one. Oh no! I had him! What happened? That was a fish. Son of a wiener. That was a good cast too. I was like, I'm definitely gonna get bit there. Oh wow, that looks really good. It's like a nine pounder. Huh, cool. I definitely got hit, man. Well, there goes that fish's home, I guess. Oh God, okay, yeah. Sorry, bud. I had to get my bait back though. Damn, first good bite of the day. Swing and a miss. Slow clap, slow clap. Catch a 10 pounder on this brush. This looks really damn good, holy moly. It's a little bit dirty over here too. Oh yeah, a lot dirty over here. There's a nice bass right there. There's a good bass just chilling right there. He's got it. He just grabbed it. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh, it's a nice one too. It's a good one. That was so sick. That was so sick. Holy moly. That was so dope. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. <laughs> that was so cool man by the way guys it's been not an easy day like really really not easy i was coming into this creek i'm thinking to myself damn like do i even have a video today i really want to show you guys some fish catching action sure enough i see this fish just suspending here i'll show you he was suspending right under that tree right there first off the fishing has been tough i don't even need to say it you guys know it this is my first fish of the day and it was a pretty crazy one too just take a good gander at her and then we'll dip her back into the water explain to you how that just went down <laughs> all right see you slimy Wow, not a bad one, probably about two and a half pounds. Good fish. This water's a lot clearer back here too, you can see him, there he goes. All right, that was just the coolest thing ever for a couple of reasons, one of which I've not had a whole lot of play today. There's not too many fish wanting to bite my bait, but I'm kind of going into this creek right now, it looks good, it looks clear, and there's like this dark figure just suspending right under the surface. I'm like, holy crap, that's a bass. Like the first good one I've seen all day. I pitch in there just completely whiff the pitch, as I usually do. And then I'm like, all right, he still doesn't see me. He hasn't spooked off, reeled it in, got another cast, and of course it goes over a twig. I'm like, this this, this will be good. This ought to be great. And it's like dangling just above the water. And as soon as I put it in the water, I watch the whole thing. He comes right up to it, swips it down, swims off with it. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Set the hook, I had to reel in a bunch of line. It was just so sick. Big score for the day. This boat now smells like fish and I'm happy. Yes! Finding fish on a new lake is never easy. Point in case, like today, I've had a very minute amount of bites. I've only seen a few fish here and there, and it's just been kind of tough, but I've been sticking with my guns and throwing the bandito bug. I'm throwing a green pumpkin right now, and I'm dipping the tails in some chartreuse garlic dye. I don't think in that case it really mattered what you were throwing. That fish was just kind of looking for some food. He was up high in the water column, would have just eaten anything. The other thing I'm also throwing today is a frog. I'm thinking a lot of these fish will be pretty active since this is one of the warmest days of the year. It's just, the air temp right now is just peaking over 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which really warms up that surface temp and it pushes those fish shallow and they start feeding. Although I haven't really gotten much action on the frog, which is a little weird. But anyway, this is just the start of the creek. I'm thinking maybe we'll find some more 
productive lay downs with some fish. But I just wanna share with you guys what uh, that fish came on. It was a little bonita bug, same freaking thing I've been throwing all damn year. Um, 7-2 rigged, big sexy. Sorry, not rigged, favorite, big sexy. And then I'm throwing 22 pound test fluorocarbon on a, what is this? It's a 7.2 to one gear ratio reel, casting. You know how we do. Chutching. Let's go crank some more fish. I'm feeling good. We got about an hour left of daylight, and that's plenty to find a, a mega mondo. Okay. Pick up the frog. I'm throwing a little hollow belly frog right now. This just looks too good not to toss around a toad. Lots of grass. Missed him. No. No, I missed him. How did I miss that fish? I was burning the frog in. Let's see if he'll eat the bandito bug. How did I miss Jimmy? He was freaking all over that, wasn't he? Oh, first frog blow up of the day. I said it was gonna happen. I was like, I'm gonna get bit on this frog. I just feel it. Well, oh, that sucks. Sorry, right, this creek goes back a little farther. I'm just gonna keep tooling around here. I'm going deep right now. Oh gosh. Oh no, nothing back here? That's kind of weird. I thought for sure there would have been some, some fish back here. At least like one hungry little nugget. Man, it was worth a shot though. It looks really good. Water's clean, tons of grass, turtles swamming. A bunch of turtles just swamming. I guess I'll go up a little bit farther. Why not? Oh, look at all the bait. Oh, there was a bass. Why didn't you eat my frog? I just spooked one out of the slop. And you didn't freaking even look at my frog. Pretty disrespectful. Oh wow, nice. That's jammer jammed up. All right, suppose I should make my way on out of here. Kind of, uh, kind of in a bind. I'm up, I'm up this creek right now. There's a bass right there. See him? Why didn't you eat the frog there, dude? I was casting back here. Hey, be quiet. That's weird, man. I saw two bass back here and neither of them wanted the frog. That one wanted the frog, he was hungry. That one was pissed off. Feeling good, we got this. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was super simple. That was easy. See you later, creek. All right, well, it's apparent that there's some fish back in these creeks. I'm gonna fish my way out of here. See if I can't locate a few more Jimbos cruising around. Oh, big heron. What up, heron? I'm thinking this is a good move though. I'll just finish the, the afternoon out here. Try to catch one more. That's the goal. That right there is the victory horn. I'm blowing it because we caught one freaking fish today on a new fishery. Not too shabby, peeps. Not too freaking shabby at all. I need to throw something else other than a bandito bug, though. I think next fishing trip, I'm just gonna leave all my bandito bugs at home and throw like a slim shake or something like that. But anyway, that's beside the point. We're heading out of here. Sun's starting to dip behind those trees, and I'm feeling like I need to get ready for tomorrow's trip. Okay, I will catch you guys back at the crib, and we will talk about some pretty big news. Other than, obviously, getting a new cameraman. Even bigger news, in some cases. Anyway, anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys back at the house. Now that I'm back in the crib, let's talk about the Never Stop Tour 2. This has been many years in the making. It has taken us way too long to get to this point, but I am freaking amazingly pumped to announce that it is finally happening. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting from Dallas, Texas, making our way all the way to San Diego. And from San Diego, we're gonna be taking a flight from there to Cabo San Lucas. It's gonna be quite the freaking send. I think we've got a total of 30 hours of on pavement driving to do, not to mention uh, the little bit of flying we have to do from San Diego to Baja, California. But it's gonna be like a very amazing series. We're gonna be filming from May 10th, essentially all the way to June 1st. This will be the biggest, most expensive, and probably the highest energy tour that we will ever film, that I've ever filmed at least in my entire life. This is not only a big deal, but it's also an enormous opportunity for us to film something truly amazing. For you guys, of course, we're doing this all for you guys um, because you guys like the first Never Stop Tour so much. But anyway, I have good news though. We are solidifying the meetup locations. Here's what we have so far. I unfortunately don't have any dates for you guys, but follow my Instagram and Peric's Instagram right here. And in a few short days, hopefully, we will have solidified um, meetup locations and times. They're most likely gonna be in the afternoon, anywhere from like five to 9 p.m. Of course, at these major cities in which I just, it should be like in my face right now. 
hopefully like right now, is it my face there? Okay, yeah, these are the locations that we're gonna be stopping at. So it's like the Never Stop Tour, but we're gonna be stopping at those places to meet you guys. Yeah, it's just gonna be Peric, myself, and Wes, and we're gonna get a chance to like hang out with you guys as we travel, film the series, and catch some fish in some of these amazing, beautiful states. In other news, since we're on the topic of traveling cars and tours, I know a lot of you guys may be wondering what the hell happened to the Land Cruiser, and I'm gonna make this very short and sweet, but essentially the Land Cruiser that I bought, it was a great car, low miles, great interior, perfect color, it's a Land Cruiser, it's just unbeatable, it's bulletproof, unless, unless the previous owner who owned it um, drove the car in salt ridden roads. The Land Cruiser that I purchased was primarily driven in Pennsylvania and Illinois, both states that get a ton of snow and that have a ton of ice and a ton of salt on the road. Fortunately, the Land Cruiser that I bought had a ton of frame rust. I'll just go front to back so you can kind of see um, everything that is rusted on this thing that we would have to deal with. But you can see the heavy flake rust on every surface in here. So obviously your shock bolts, we would be taking out your upper arms. You would be working around all of this rust. So, and look at your frame, like the frame, there's real heavy flake rust on everything. Just coming apart. So I tweaked immediately. Thankfully, Walt over at TAV, who is the uh, main owner and the head honcho over there, was like, I got some good news. I got a buddy who's got an LX570 Lexus, which is essentially the same platform as the Land Cruiser, and he is willing to trade your car for his for an extra few grand. I lost some money, I wasn't completely out of luck, but essentially this is the car that I have now. So this is my new Land, Land Cruiser LX570 project that I've been um, so tediously waiting on for these past few months. I think it's almost done, I'm pretty sure, I hope it is, but uh, this is gonna be my next big touring vehicle. Ideally we hope to have this vehicle for the Never Stop Tour 2, but it's looking like it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. At the very least, I'm gonna have an amazing touring vehicle to, to make more tours and film more videos with. Uh, it got a lift, it got new wheels, it got new tires, it's got a roof rack. We basically tore out the rear seat, so I think it's only a two-seater or a three-seater. I think it's getting lights, too. Like, we're getting like 50 light bars, I think. Yeah, 50 or 45, I'm not sure, but a good amount. Here's some footage of the car. Uh, courtesy of TAV, and um, I'm really pumped to get this thing going. So step aside, Rig Runner. You've got a uh, you got a big brother now to look up to. It's a freaking beast. It's a V8. I think it's a 4.7. It's gonna be able to pull bigger boats, do bigger tours, eat more gas, burn more holes in my wallet. <laughs> but I just want to keep you guys in the loop. So two big things: Never Stop Tour 2 officially freaking happening May 10th. Meetups coming soon. Keep your eyes freaking peeled for that. Like I said, follow our Instagrams for more updates. And then I got a new car. Freaking sick. Also, I still have a wiener dog. Her name is Lucky and she's just so cute. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. You going on the Never Stop Tour? I'm excited. Are you guys pumped? I hope you are too. I just wanna share some news for you guys. Today was not exactly the most banger up of a fishing video. So I wanted to include some exciting news for you guys uh, within this upload. But I appreciate the view. I hope you guys are thoroughly excited. Thank you so much for watching. And as always folks, keep fishing. Never stop.